becoming men. We are now telling women to want jobs that men do. So we are leaving the feminine of women and say, leave this and look for what a man likes. And then we tell them you don't need a man. Have you noticed that women are now calling themselves king? Yeah. It's a trend. It's trending now. Oh, she's kinging. She's no longer queen. Why? Because if I say queen, I rely on a man. So women would rather stand toe to toe with their husbands in arguments. Why? Because we are all the same. I also have rights. From where? Where do you get them? Women don't have rights. They have women's rights. Men don't have rights. They have men's rights. And then there is Christian rights. So now you wonder why we don't have marriages now in the Christian age. Why? Simple. The man is chosen to listen and be like the woman. Because masculinity has been removed. Most of you have no idea that when you buy your techies from, from wherever shop you buy, there is something called astrogen that has been put inside. That is the hormone that is opposed to Testosterone simply means is the men we have now are at least over 1,000 times less than the men we used to have. Why? Because oestrogen has been introduced in foods. So you have more female hormones than male hormones. So we have more people becoming gays and lesbians now. And you think it's because they were born like that. Their argument is so valid that they were born like that because the food was introduced to them while they are in the womb. So they have no idea now what's happening. They come out and they eat food that is oestrogen and they are men. And they have become feminine in nature. You see people just moving kind of anyhow. You wonder why are you moving like this? Why have you lost this? And the Bible actually tells you that it is wrong for a man to act like a woman. And men and women are wondering why are we not having men marrying us. The men are no longer there. They're just like you. They're women too. <laughs> this is the reason why you find men looking for women who are rich and they are broke. Moving from one rich woman to another rich woman to another rich woman. Squandering women's money. You get into the house and the father is sitting so far like this, changing channels. And the woman is coming from work, opening, Mama, you are back. Ah. <laughs> I'm just taking care of the kids. You, you are taking care of the kids. A man taking care of the kids. You are a nanny at home. There is no reason. Yes, you can be a nanny while you have your company opening. Take care of your kids. That's okay. But to say you have no job, not one. Your job is to sit at home. Cook for the woman who has gone to work. And the Bible says if a man does not provide for his own family, he has lost the faith. In other words, you're no longer a Christian. Hey. And then he goes further and says you are worse than an infidel. For those who don't, who don't understand an infidel, it's like you are like a terrorist. We have men that don't bring nothing home. No food, nothing, no money at the end of the month. Zero. Just going for the woman with money. The car you drive at home belongs to the woman. You are not a man. You are really not a man. Real men take charge. That's it. Your only man would be seen in the bedroom. Or when you want to shout at that woman, that's all you see. You want to control, yeah, I am the leader of this home. Well, can you lead with your money at least, at least one month? Well, I can tell men are not talking, I am here.